Welcome in, welcome in, welcome back to the Crypto Bully Bear channel where there's only fun decoding and no financial advice. What a day, what a day. <clears throat> Today's March 8th. 3 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 Yesterday was 3 March 7th, which was the God Day. Yesterday was a God day. So, <clears throat> big, big shout outs to Current Crypto, Rick, New Titan 888, and Crypto Starship. On the way home, I was watching all their videos and it just opened up another can of worms, another can of worms. <laughs> or should I say snakes? <clears throat> There's a dragon here. Bam, 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 bam. All right, let's get down to this now. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> now let's go start off with first. Let's go start with Crypto's Rick's latest videos. Let me show you what it is so you can understand what you need to be watching. All right, this is the video right here, as you can see, cryptocurrent. All right, <clears throat> this video you need to watch. I'm not even going to play it because this man needs the credit. All right, and I will say is, I'm not saying what he is saying is 100% correct. I will say what he is saying in his video can strongly be a possibility because I have said this in the past as well. We had talked about this, that, you know, there's been rumors about Metallica is going bankrupt. And then, you know, Ripple was bragging about having a billion dollars on the side. So I was like, <laughs> people got money. The other person's got technology. Put them together when two worlds collide. <laughs> Metallica and Ripple, when two worlds collide. <clears throat> Now, understand, okay? You can't really be mad at Marshall, you know? You really can't. You, Marshall is a person, he's a CEO of a company. And listen, a CEO of a company is looking to make money for their company. Companies don't get into business to make little people money, okay? Just understand this, please. Um, <clears throat> so, it's not the responsibility of a CEO or something like that to explain to you how you need to secure your this, your that. That's giving you financial advice. He's, the CEO is here to uh, basically advertise his products. He has products on the platform and he's here to advertise his products. <clears throat> End of story, okay? And if you're a CEO, you're not looking to make anybody else money but you and your company, okay? Bottom line. Right? It's for you to have a better understanding of your investment. Okay, This is why people tell you, don't get into things if you don't fully understand it. Don't get into things if you don't fully know how to secure it. Okay, Because 90% of you most likely will go running back to other influencers and telling them, you know, blaming them for your losses. You have to take responsibility for yourself to do your own research, okay? And I said many times, I was falling into the love of, you know, certain CEOs and certain things that I'm seeing, but you have to do your own research and not depend on what you hear from other people, especially for me, okay? I'm a storyteller. I'm just a storyteller. I like to decode. I like to have fun. And that's about it. <clears throat> End of story. Um, so, you know, again... Can't be mad. You have to know what you're getting into before you invest into these things and then do your own research. Because honestly, the last space that I listened to, um, what Marshall, I believe, hosted with the A-Chain, you need to listen to that. If you're mad with Marshall, I think you might need to listen to that space again very carefully, okay? Because he tells you things without telling you things. And that's all I'm going to say. All right. You just if you feel a certain way about the CEO, 
then I think you really need to re-listen to that uh, that last X space that he had. Anyway, <clears throat> so I showed you cryptocurrency video that you need to watch. Okay, great explanation. I felt strongly that that can happen. He breaks it down much more in detail. All right, <clears throat> I was basically just stating that. You have billions of dollars on one side and you have technology on the other side. I don't see why not that they come together. Okay? That's just business because there's a bunch of mergers and shit like that. And plus, you understand, I believe that <clears throat> Proton is the Phoenix coin. So, like I said, if you were the elites and above and the people above, <clears throat> excuse me, got a itchy, uh, tickly throat. If you're the people at above, you're going to try to do trickery type of stuff. Right, because you want the least amount of the least amount of people that have it, the more valuable most likely it is. That's the right. The least amount of people that have it, the most value it is. So that's the major goal. So you can't be mad at that. You got to just vibrate on a higher level, like Crypto Rick, New Titan, <clears throat> Starship, you know all these other guys out here. I'm sorry if I missed anybody. You know these guys are vibrating on a higher level. Let me show you who else is vibrating on a higher level. Remember these guys? Who's vibrating on a higher level? This guy right here is vibrating on a higher level. And again, watch Rick's um, little video. He kind of breaks it down how these people are just kind of wandering around. And my man up here is vibrating on a higher level. He's focused on what's in front of him. The light, the source, Okay. He knows what's up. Everybody's dancing down here, distracted probably over here, dancing around, playing with the king, okay? Maybe that owl's maybe the Super Bowl, who knows, superb owl? <clears throat> maybe everybody's still talking about the Super Bowl before you know it. The real Big Bang, but this guy is operating on high frequencies because he's above it all. He's above the clouds, okay? Now here we have... New Titan 888, okay? He comes out with the old Anchor video right here. Now, this is a lovely decode, okay? Funny enough, I believe, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know the name, but I believe that I actually did a video, something similar to his video, but he nailed it more than I did because I was just, I seen the M and the W, and I know it was Metallicus Web Auth, and I thought that it was the Web Auth wallet that you needed to have in order to get saved, because it looked like the W was on the floor, the M was grinding through the floor, and then it hooked into the donut. And I, that would, that's what made me believe <clears throat> that it was the WebAuth wallet just alone. But here you go. This is why we have a beautiful community with beautiful brains and decoders around. And he breaks it down more. This guy here. Okay. He breaks it down more beautifully. What the M really stood for was an anchor. Because, as he showed you in the video, I'm not going to tell you. Go watch the video. All right? That's all. Go watch that video. Okay? Between Rick's, this video, and Crypto Starship. Let's go over there and check it out. Boom. This video right here, too. Okay? And yeah, I mean, he got another video, too. As you can see, there's another print right there. As you can see, it's got some pretty good Gematria shit. <clears throat> And I'm going to say one thing. I, w I was like into Gematria myself too. And I was doing a lot. And I could pull out a hell of a lot of videos. But then I, I reared away from it because I was like, God, it's online. I wonder if people can just manipulate it and just stick in certain words and stuff like that to play. Until I realized all these words and stuff have value. And you can't really f change value. The value, it is what it is. You can change different wordings and spellings, but you can't change the value of the true word. So, big ups to Starship, again, for making me totally believe in the Gematria thing again, fully. Thank you, sir, for your time and your hard efforts. So, <clears throat> check out New Titans video real quick, and then maybe come back to this. That's what I'll tell you, because I want to add a little bit to what he was... Um, to what he was saying. For a moment there, okay. I was going to not say this anything. This is one of the videos and here. And stay out of it. But no, it's not me. It's not how I function. 
I function in a manner where I care about I wanna, the people. I want to peel now back I'm where he starts from over you, here. All right. You know what you need to do? I'm a decoder, and that's what I love to do. And so I'm going to decode. And he's going to decode, and so am I. So if you want to watch the rest of that video, I'd advise you to get off here and go watch his, okay? What a what a brilliant video. Breaking it all down beautifully. Today was a beautiful day. All these videos came out, and it was a beautiful day. Okay, so right before they take off on the train, right? You have all these people waiting for the monorail to take off, blah, 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 blah. right? <clears throat> Up Once you're check it out. Spent last night in a ditch. <laughs> now, this is the biggest key. Or maybe there's no key. I don't know. We're going to find out. About that, folks. Right before the monorail. Now I'd like to turn things over to our Grand Marshal, Mr. Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> I'd say this vessel could do at least warp five. I show you how it's all connected, right? This guy's in front of the monorail. Front of the monorail. How you doing? This guy's from Star Trek, right? This guy's from Star Trek. What kind of ship you be flying? What kind of ship you be flying? According to Wikipedia, United Earth Starfleet's Enterprise is the main setting of Star Trek Enterprise. Enterprise was the first Earth-built starship capable of reaching warp five. Oh. Starship, crypto starship, it's all connected. I don't know what's going on. Crypto starship, this guy used to be flying in this shit, and where else did I see that? You remember James Holiday? James Holiday from Ready Player One, the USS Enterprise, because you know what Enterprise is? It deals with entities and businesses. Enterprise. Do you understand how big this is? Do you understand how pissed off I am? Do you understand how pissed off I am right now? I'm happy that this stuff is getting out. But I'm pissed off at the sense that I can't KYC because I'm in New York City. And it looks like... Ah, I don't want to talk about it. Let's just continue with this right here. Anyway, I'm just showing you that how all these movies, cartoons, and all this shit is connected. All these people laughing at me and whoever else is decoding cartoons and saying you should never invest through a cartoon. All I can say is watch and find out. The more you fuck around, the more you find out. Now, funny enough, you see the mayor, he's talking about... Bringing in the marshal, then the ride in the monorail, which brings in New Titans video in beautifully there with the anchoring. You know, The Simpsons is beautiful. It's a nice decode. If you got the eyes to see and the ears to hear and the nose to smell what's cooking, then you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> now in Crypto Rick's video, he states he um he highlights a he highlights a scenario that may or may not happen, okay? But like I said, we have to be prepared and cover our asses in all corners and understand all possibilities, understand all pros all cons, which I don't fully understand, so I'm not sure, but but Rick states, and now I see it more clearly now. Now they're stating that they're going to come off, well, with, I think with the A-chain, Metallicus is going to come off. Think about this now. Metallicus is going to halt the proton chain, which was claimed to be the fastest chain in the world, okay? They're going to halt the fastest chain in the world, all right to the side. Um, then they're going to merge the proton thing into the metal or lay it over the metal blockchain. So now they have a super chain, right, on the metal side. And you have 
proton sitting there, halted, with nobody being used, but being faster than XRP and XLM. So now you hear you have Ripple sitting on a billion dollars. I mean, that's a no-brainer. I mean, you ask yourself, if you were Ripple and you had a billion dollars and you know that your car can only drive, let's say, 100 miles an hour and you're in the, let's say you're in the, the delivery business, right? And you need to get to places faster because the faster you drop off, the faster you can get to the next customer and then that, that happens the faster you make your money, correct? Okay. So, to me, as we know, XRP was only moving at 100 miles per hour. XLM was probably moving slightly faster, maybe 150 miles per hour. But then you had XPR, blockchain, moving 400, right? Or about, about three, 400 miles per hour. Now, if you're a CEO and you see a car that's halted, grounded, and nobody's using that car, and you're a delivery person because you're trying to make payments all around the way, why wouldn't you pick up XPR's uh, blockchain? Right? The idea here is to be the fastest blockchain. And we heard it before from Ripple stating that on the Ripple network, they can use any blockchain. Let me repeat that. The Ripple network can use any, 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 any blockchain to make sure their network runs sufficiently. Okay? And if that's the case, that would suck for XRP holders because that means maybe they'll take the value straight out of XRP and go on to the proton dead chain. This is a theory and this is a possibility. I'm not saying this is going to happen. Okay. But I'm just saying that we all need to understand everything that can and cannot happen. Okay. And I'm, that's all I'm trying to do is shine the light. All right. Because in my if you asking me, I have no problems with Metallica. I have no problems with anybody on the board there. Okay. They're in business and that's what they do. Okay. They're running a bank. All right. And there's probably people above them and they're definitely in contracts that they can't say much. All right. So when you ask somebody a question, right, let me give you another hint. If you're asking somebody a question and they don't really answer it, most likely, you know, the answer already. Let me repeat that. If you ask somebody a question and they don't answer it because they can't answer it because of, you know, close agreements and contracts can't say certain things you have to be in a higher vibration to understand what that means because sometimes silence is a very powerful answer okay especially when somebody is very quick to correct somebody and let me leave that alone from there now going back to ripple okay again if this Proton fast blockchain is laying around, why wouldn't Ripple pick it up if nobody else is using it? That's all I'm saying. That's all I can see. Now, I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen. But I had said this before, you know, and now thinking about it, you know, I can see that vision. Again, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but I can see that being as a possibility, you know. And maybe not. You know, maybe none of that stuff happens. But... Just to be aware. And, you know, I had that kind of similar thought because you got to understand they're going to make us jump through hoops and rings and, you know, especially rings that are on fire and shit like that. And they're going to have all types of obstacles to be putting in front of us, because, like I said, the less people that hold the Phoenix coin, the more valuable it is. OK, that that's just the way the game goes. This is a fucking chess game. Excuse my language, but this is a chess game. All right. You need to understand how to play chess and if you don't then i advise you then don't play with cryptocurrency because that shit can get crazy all right no they could i mean i'm not saying this is gonna happen i just had a weird ass like i took a nap i just had a weird ass little quick dream like 
you know, and it could be a possibility. Look at this. Bitcoin, Ethereum, almost at their all-time highs. And they haven't even started the bull run yet. That means that BTC can go over to at least a quarter of a million dollars on this fucking run. All right? Now imagine. Now everybody's thinking that this is the fucking time that everybody... Now you, hear me out. Because this is what everybody is feeling. That everyone's life is going to change. No matter what coins you're holding. Regardless. Proton. Anything. Anything. Because this bull run is coming. But imagine. All the people pouring into BTC. All the people boring maybe into Ethereum. I mean, I don't know because there's a lot of projects on Ethereum. I mean, I don't know. I'm just hypothetically speaking. Could be a possibility that Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin, you know, Rick does say that maybe BTC does get drained out. Maybe it moves over to BS BSV. Who knows? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just saying, if that does happen, I can see that working out perfectly. Imagine wiping out Bitcoin going to zero, Ethereum going to zero, XRP going to zero, fucking XPR going to zero. Now, I'm not saying they all going to zero. I'm just saying, imagine that, you know, that would be a nice fucking cleanup right there. Just want you to be open-minded, Okay. I got no issues with nobody because I know and I understand at the end of the day, I'm responsible for myself, my own actions and reactions. All right. And love to everybody else out here who is putting in the time and the work to do these things, to let us know and to keep us on our toes and our eyes open. Oh, I love this space. Anyway, shout out again to Rick, New Titan, Crypto Starship. Professor Frank, um, back and forth with me, um, all you guys, thank you again for such brilliant decodes today, it was a beautiful day, man, you just opened up another can of worms, now I gotta try to get all these little scrappy cartoony um, videos and movies that I seen, and hopefully we have fun on the next video. All right. Thank you for liking, watching, and subscribing. And I'm doing the best I can out here. And uh, I'm going to come with another video too because there's some good news and bad news on my side over here. But for this video, let's keep it proper. The vibe is up. And let's go. Hold it. Do your research. Watch those videos. And subscribe today. Bully Bear out.